Well, let me tell you something, brother. Snort, snort, snort. Tell you. Drip, snort, snort. I got the drip. American 11, are you trying to call? The cops are not answering their phones. Our number one is just Oh, man. Wow. Well, five minutes. By the way, today's uh, September 10th. Tomorrow is September 11th, which would be, what, the 22nd anniversary of the 9-11 terrorist attacks on America. Um, so this is going to be something that's kind of timely to watch. 9-11 as events unfold from actual TSA broadcast recordings. Wow. And our five distant staff. Hey, I'm going to call from Washington. Hey, I'm in a situation where the Americans are under possible hijack. What's going on, Benny? The crap is erratic again. Oh my god. Eddie, talk to me. Eddie, are you there? Eddie? No. Eddie? A plane just What? It's 737. It what? Like the world trade. Who are you talking to? Oh god. This is all the TSA oh people. So people in the transit authority that deal with air traffic control and that kind of stuff. These are their actual recorded broadcasts. Wow. Uh, United 175, New York. We have some problems over here right now. We might have a hijack over here, two of them. Fuel, this is Ryan, uh, on an airplane that's been hijacked. Just things will go well. I'm good to go. I just want you to know I absolutely love you. Wow. Oh my god, the different angles are crazy. What are those people gonna do? All the elevators are blocked out. Oh my god, so both towers are now. Okay, now we have a I got an aircraft that's about east of the White House. Hello? Crystal City, just north of Crystal City. Just to the north of your town. Yeah, stop all the parkers. Pentagon just got hit. Don't throw any of that. Goddamn, I can't protect my NCA. The Pentagon part I never researched. Isn't it true that they were planning these terrorists were planning on doing something different and something went wrong and that's why the pentagon got hit the way it did like their plan was definitely to hit the world trade center that was in their plan but the plan was a little different around the pentagon it was something different that happened and so they were going to do something this wasn't supposed to just be the world trade center they had like all these different plans for that day where they wanted to hit different parts of the u.s but only the World Trade Center was the one that went down the way they planned and everything else was like messed up, right? Was it the White House too they wanted to hit? Hmm. Ah, there was one that was going for the White House but it crashed in Pennsylvania before it ever reached. Gotcha. Three, that traffic three is one o'clock, 12 miles east on 370. Negative contact, we're looking at United 93. Hey. United 93, Cleveland, if you hear the center right then. Do you hear him? Wow. Tuesday, 9.47 a.m. Hi, baby. I'm, baby, you have to listen to me carefully. I'm on a plane that's been hijacked. I'm on the plane. I'm calling from the plane. Wow. I want to tell you I love you. Please tell my children that I love them very much. And I'm so sorry, baby. I hope to be able to see your face again, baby. I love you. Bye. Wow. So sad. We're 56865. Uh, we have, uh, I believe it is a uh, Boeing 757. Can you see him up there, sir? <clears throat> That's concerned. Uh, it looks like he's rocking his wings. Roger. He's rocking back and forth. We're 56865. I advise you stay away from that aircraft. Go north as fast as you can. United 93. Have you got information on that yet? Yeah, he's down. He's down? Yes. Wow. Where did he land? He did not land. Oh, he's down? Yeah, down? somewhere up northeast of Camp David. So that was the one that didn't hit where it was supposed to hit. That was the one where the passengers fought back. 
and they were able to down the aircraft before it went and hit anything. Wow. Heroic. <clears throat> See, what a lot of people don't realize, even though it's the World Trade Center, it was also a tourist attraction. I went there as a kid. I never went up it, but I was in the lobby of the World Trade Center when I was a kid. It was one of the places you would go as a tourist. So there's tons of people in that building who are there for not only tourism, but like there's businesses and things in there. So you're in there just for normal stuff. It wasn't like, oh, it was just a trade center if you were like a businessman or something like that. It wasn't. There was tons of people in there just, you know, who weren't even necessarily there for work who were affected as well. Wow. Jesus. It's absolutely right. It is a new type of war. Because at that time, I don't think America had really been exposed to terrorism, honestly. Like, there have been some bombings and things, but this was really the first time that I feel like this hit everyone. Like, this is truly what terrorism is. And this is the kind of shit that has happened all over the world, but we were kind of immune to it. And this is the first time where we really got exposed to the kind of vile, dark stuff that happens everywhere else. Um... <clears throat> I remember particularly not wondering what was going to happen or not not knowing what was going to happen thinking, dude, this could absolutely be the beginning of a world war to end everything. Like, that's how everyone was talking on TV, too. They were like, if we identify who this is, are we going to strike back? Are we going to do this? And everyone thought, yeah, this could literally be the beginning of the end of how life, of life as we know it because of how se severe this was. <clears throat> oh my god. I've never seen this. I've never seen the aftermath. <clears throat> wow. Not on your watch. With what was that? <laughs> Not on your watch. Uh, TSA, it happened during your watch. That was a TSA video. That totally happened during your watch. I don't understand the final statement there that they added. That didn't seem to make much sense. Unless that was still the president's quote, but it said that the president's quote had ended. So, I don't know there. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, one more video before we split the part here. The worst Olympic marathon in a nutshell. Okay. 2,800 years to ancient Greece, the Olympics have become the pinnacle of athletic achievement. The TSA was made after 9-11? Oh, okay. They were formed November 2001. Airport security was a joke before it. I did not even know that. Okay. So basically what the TSA is saying that they're homeland security and they're trying to stop... Uh, they're trying to stop that kind of thing from happening in the future. All right, that makes sense then. Again, I did not know that. I'm glad you guys corrected me. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. Also, I find it hilarious, of course, trolls showed up when we were watching that footage of 9-11 saying, I'm trying to monetize 9-11. I don't pick the clips, you idiots. I mean, that's probably the dumbest thing you possibly could have said. As if I chose, I didn't choose anything on this show. I choose none of it. Ultra is selected by the Ultra members, and the other is RNG via YouTube. I don't select any of it. You can't play, you can't pin that one on me, you morons. I don't select the content. It's random for a reason, right? <clears throat> okay. Anyway, continuing on. I got the drip going. 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 It's like a faucet that's dripping. You can't make it stop. 
So what do you want me to do? Have a have a mute button that every second I'm tapping the mute button just in case I, I'm gonna have to clear. Like this is what I mean. These, these dumb kids. This is what it is. It's dumb kids. 